What's good, y'all? Hope you guys have been having a great week. So by uh, popular popular demand from a couple of uh, my subscribers, they've asked me to make a how-to face lathering video. I don't think this is a particularly right way. I just wanna kind of say that from the get-go. Um, my way is not specifically like the right way. It's just what works for me. Um, but yeah, I'll just kind of describe how to build a lather. Uh, I guess the way I do it, um, and I've had good results with it. I feel like I finally got it down, but without further ado, so as you guys know, I typically use badger brushes. So if you're using a badger, obviously uh, you're gonna wanna soak it a minute, two minutes, doesn't matter. You want it to kind of absorb all that water. This is my ever set. Um, what I do is I shake out all the water. So some people, they shake it out three times. I pretty much just, I shake it out. I don't, I don't squeeze it because there's still enough water where when you're loading, it kind of gets messy. It just works for me. I've sh I've squeezed it before. Shaking works best for me. Um, I'll be using low third grooming uh, just because I'm about to shave it anyways. I'm about to make a video for it. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go into like a 45 second load. But yeah, we'll do that. So... Um, the reasoning is this is a dense knot, not crazy dense, but it's dense. So if you're someone who wants the la wants the lather to look um, the same or feel the same on the third pass, if you're someone who does three passes as the first pass, you might want to overload just a bit. And um, I found that soap lasts a very long time. So for me, I'd rather overload a bit than underload because like if the lather gets super thin and clear and um, it's just like overhydrated by that third pass. Chances are um, you might have underloaded or added too much water. So there's that. So better safe than sorry. We're, up, we're at about 45 seconds. Now this is a medium firm soap. This is going to depend on the soap you're using. If it's super soft like milk steak, probably like, you know, 30 seconds on something dense like this. Um, you could probably do it with even like 15 seconds, but my reasoning behind what I said is on that third pass, you want it to have um, just the same kind of lather that you have on the first pass. So, so what I do is I put water in the sink and what I'm gonna do is actually, let me wipe my face. I wipe my face and what you could do is you could uh, just paint it on, kind of distribute it evenly. Um, yeah. But you know, as you know, the lather is probably super dry at this point. Oh, also, if you're using a synthetic, you could probably cut the lather times in half and probably get good results. Uh, with a bore, I'd probably keep it close. Yeah, uh, borers pick up soap really easy, but they, uh, so we're, we're just gonna add, so I just dip the tips once. I'm just painting it in at this point. You can start agitating in a second, but might as well paint it in. Yeah, bores pick up soap um, real easy, but depending on the bore knot, how it's set, how dense it is, it might not um, pick hold as much soap. So that's why you kind of want to load a little bit longer. Some can hog lather. I've never had an issue with it, but many people have told me that. So you're going to want to start splaying the brush and agitating immediately after you do your first water addition. Um, you're probably thinking, there's a lot of uh, wet shavers who tend to uh, primarily just paint. So um, the point of agitating is, yeah, you just want to keep agitating to introduce air into the soap. So introducing air is what gives it volume. It kind of gives it that size you're looking for. So um, yeah, that's why you want to, so by the way, I just did the tips. I'll try to call it out every time. So yeah, now that we've agitated quite a bit, we're just gonna go into painting motions. So uh, the reasoning for painting in between agitation is that's what kind of release, releases the lather off the brush onto your face. So if you're, uh, if you're just agitating the whole time, like I used to do like maybe last summer, if you watch my videos and I didn't paint much, um, I had like very, really voluminous lather, but it wasn't like, uh, well hydrated enough really so so at this point the lather's starting to come together um, we're gonna what I'm gonna do is paint water in both sides 
sorry, it's raining outside, and then go back to agitation. And it's really that simple. Um, and you're just gonna, you know, kind of rinse and repeat. Just, all right, now I'm dipping the tips. So yeah, you could do it two different ways or how I do it, uh, depending on my mood. I'll just dip the tips and keep agitating till I find that it's luminous enough where it's like, okay, that's, that's good. Um, and then that's when I'll kind of start painting. I save painting for the end, for the most part. Just dip the tips again. And depending on the soap, this is gonna vary how many water additions and how long the load is. So if it's really soft, uh, load it less. If it's a synthetic, probably load it less. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like just a general instruction of how I face lather personally. So yeah, I'm still agitating. If you're someone who doesn't agitate because you get uh, irritated skin from agitating, I know some people say that, just don't splay it all the way, just do it lightly, or just uh, get a synthetic. Most synthetics, they're soft enough where it won't. I know some people have some super sensitive safe faces for painting. Um, or like, you know, maybe get a softer badger, or, you know, um, just get something that works for you. I'm not really saying like what to get, what not, but I'm saying like, give it a chance. If, if in the past, uh, agitating has caused irritation, don't splay the brush all the way because that's the base of the knot tends to have less softer hair. Um, and then just kind of do that just to get enough volume going. And then after that, you can pretty much paint. So this, this right now, it's not really doing much what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm kind of painting, but I'm gonna wanna paint in some water. So uh, what I do is I put the lather back on top sometimes and then dip both sides. So I just dip both sides of the brush and then we're just gonna work it in. Yeah. And then if I want, let's say I'm not happy with the size, I could just go back to agitating. I already painted in water. So literally uh, without trying to sound repetitive guys, <laughs> That's literally all it is. That's all I do, or that's all anyone does. You just get an adequate load. You want to get an adequate load on the brush because if it's if it's too light of a load, for one, soap lasts forever. So if it's too light of a load, you might uh, be lacking what you desire in that second or third pass or whatever. Um, two, you want to splay the brush, agitate to introduce volume and size to the soap. Three, you just want to paint in uh water accordingly till the lather is kind of like folding over itself so you'll see what i'm talking about in a second this soap in particular it could take actually a ton of water so that's why i'm going back to agitating uh yeah so you'll see it in a second so yeah see how i'm like plopping the lather on my face also, if you're feeling like, yeah, see how it's like falling off my face, you know it's probably well hydrated. This, I think, could still take more, but um, I forgot what I was gonna say. It, oh, also, another tip is when you're first lathering, if you're feeling a lot of resistance in the brush for splaying, it's time to add water. You know what I mean? It's like, you could kind of get it, like, you, you just know. Like, that's all I can say is just practice it. So, right now, it's not a ton of. Uh, resistance but I can still add water so that's what I'm gonna do yeah um the lather will kind of look shiny most of the time not all the time um, when you've added enough water I'm just been dipping the whole time yeah so we're pretty much ready to go and if I was like you know if I'm straight razor shaving I'll probably agitate a little bit less than if I'm DE shaving, just cause I like that, that extra volume or density um, on my face when lathering, but that's pretty much it. So you kind of just play with it. Agitate, agitate, paint, agitate, paint, add water um, slowly. If you're someone who uh, over hydrates the lather, the lather in the beginning, doing what I do, it won't happen because you shook out all the water out of the brush. So that's kind of another part of my reasoning. When I used to just squeeze it lightly or do like one shake, it would be, uh, sometimes I overhydrate the brush, especially if it's like a jelly tip, a gel tip knot where it picks up a ton of water 
you will drown out the lather before you even build it. So keep that in mind. But yeah, um, that's pretty much how I face lather. Um, if you guys like this video, uh, leave a comment, let me know. Or you guys could let me know what differences you would do when you face lather. Um, I'm sure others who are trying to learn can scroll through the comments and they can pick up things that might help them better. Uh, these are just things that work for me. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's basically my how-to lather video. So as you can see, you know, it's got a nice sheen to it. It's got, um, yeah, see, it's, see how it's folding over itself? It's plopped, um, but still maintaining its structure. So it's not watery either. It's not like too watery. Um, yeah, and that's just kind of how it goes. So uh, yeah, uh, we're at 10 minutes. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.